And welcome everybody. This is uh, assignment number five review of uh, uh, cosmetics. Can you believe we're on five already? My goodness, my goodness. Uh, I used I used this course. I, I I scheduled it. It's a countdown to my vacation. So <laughs> when I do the last the last inter the last interview or the last review, I know that I'm going on vacation that following week. So. All right, let's get down here. And uh, if there's no questions. We'll get down and chat with Carmen and let her get out of here to her soiree. All right, Carmen. Uh, pretty darn nice, Carmen. The yep. hardest part was getting the makeup to look right on that brush. Okay. I couldn't quite like, I wanted it to drip and be clean. And in the end, it was just like a mess. Yeah, and I, I'm, I wonder, um, is it real thin? The, the stuff, is it really thin? No, it, it dripped out nice, but it dripped out wrong. So then I ended up kind of brushing it on and then letting it fall underneath. And I kept okay. putting stuff okay. on and it, I think I was just making it worse. So I stopped. Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm not sure that works. That's kind of, you know. I think I'd rather yeah. I'd rather have seen the, the clean brush there. Um, I've got I've got a, I've got a picture of that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I would prefer that. Um, okay. Because that's kind of that's kind of a mess here. But how do you get it to drip? Well, question I I would have is is uh, was it elevated or did you want it to drip out onto this here? I wanted it to drip down, but I wanted it to kind of like drip a pool. down neatly. Right. So I think I would have taken a what do you call them? Uh, like you take medicine with what's a school squeezy thing? Oh, a, a dropper, a dropper built the stuff here. If it's too thin, boost it with a little flour, you okay. know, make it thicker, little flour, and then get that just perfect. Put the brush into it and then put a little bit with that dropper right on the end of the brush. Oh, the th you see, the thing was, is I, I had everything like I shot everything and I didn't want to move the brush or the makeup bottle. Like right. I had attached the, the brush perfectly. And I'm like, if I move this brush, I'll be screwed. Yep. So I tried to work with it where it was. Yep. So it was better to just. Um, you just set it there, get it right. And then build that little pool of whatever you want with the liquid with that eyedropper. Yeah. Using something to make it thick. So it doesn't just run everywhere. And then yeah. just, Drop a little bit on the edge here. Okay. Because remember, in advertising, it doesn't have to look, quote, real. It has to look, you know, how, you know, romanticized. Yeah. For a lack of a better word. Uh, your highlights look really great on here. And on this, we can see the texture of this all the way around. And little subtle things like having that little black right there just at the edge of the highlight of the background having that little white area there go all the way up into the dark area. Um, those are, those are nicely done. It's nicely done. The out of focus backgrounds. Great. Is there a behind the scenes? Yes. There. Ah, all right. The soft box on the left with the scrim and then the strip box really close and, yep. and a gel on the background. And then I used the card to um, put that highlight underneath the brush. Um, Here? Uh, that hi yeah, that highlight. I, I had a card. There's a card and, behind you know, the bottle? It's not behind. It's, it's, I handheld it and I, you know, Got I just it. Photoshopped in the highlight. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just very nicely done. Really nicely done, Carmen. Uh, and I hope every, every if you're new to this type of work, Carmen's setup is this is really a, you can just tell it's a pro setup. She's got her lights in really really close so that she can get the maximum use of those lights. The farther away you go, if you started moving that scrim farther, it would start coming down the handle here because it's got to be close enough for this handle to reflect it. If you move it back, it's just going to start creeping down. Nicely done, Carmen. Good job. Thank you. It, will the will the president of France be there? 
No, but the mayor of Antibes oh. will be. Oh, okay. Well, see if he can get a message over to Macron. Just say, I just yeah. said hi. Say hi. <laughs> Don said yeah. hi. Yeah. All right. You just, just, you don't have to use my last time. Just say Don said hi. He, he knows. Okay. <laughs> I will. All right. All right. Let's get back. Anybody else have to go because they have to leave? Anyone? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just uh, was able to sign in on my dad's spiral account. I'm visiting with family, so if I could get in and get out. Who speaks? Uh, we'll do who's first. Okay. You could do the other person first. Well, who who is this? I don't know who this uh, is. This is Rob Reed. I, I'm probably listed as Steve Reed. There you go. Okay. Uh, as as Sareed? Reed. Okay. Sarid, yes. Sarid, okay. And who else had to go first? Hold on. Ding? Ding, are you there? You're muted, Ding. Ding, hang. Okay. I thought I heard somebody Hello? else. Right. Yeah. Did you say you had to go I first, too? Uh-oh, dang, we have no audio. I'm not hearing you. I think you sent me an I think you sent me a note saying you should leave. So uh, we're gonna get we're gonna do Rob Reed and then Dang, and then we'll get back to it. Rob, where are you for, sir? Hello? Hello, Dang? I cannot hear. Yeah. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Ah, uh, yes, here. I'm in the car. Sorry, I cannot talk. Okay. But did I you have listen. To, did you have to go first? Uh, that'd be great. Okay. I think yeah, because you sent me a note. All right. So, Rob, where are we here, sir? Uh, I'm on the screen. The three with the one in the front. They're black with silver lips. On the left side of the screen, I see it. You just, it's off the screen now. Upper left, one higher. Uh, it's gone now. Three yeah. black lipsticks, upright. We have, with we have a very, very long delay, folks. Super ah, there long we go. delay. Uh, and I don't know why that is, but we are. Okay, Rob. All right. So ooh, did you do a behind the scenes? Yes. Okay. All right. For these guys here, you need white cards. You need white cards. You need to get them along the side here. We need to see a highlight that runs up the side of this. Um, just like you have this one here. But we've got all these little sparkles here. That, and, and like that highlight doesn't make sense. I, I know what you're trying to do here, but let's go and look at you behind the scenes. And this is where you, you box up this. Box could come down lower, actually. And then right here, you need a white card just like that. So that this light, which is is going over here, is going to put that up, that highlight up these side, the side of these lipstick models, and then here I would probably put a scrim in the middle of that, so that this soft box lights up the scrim and that highlight goes up the sides of it, and then in front of it a white card coming out like that towards the camera, and that would put a highlight up the front of the little one there. I'm following. Yeah, we need these highlights right here and here on it. And then the, putting that card up in the front will give us really, really clean here. If it's still set up, give it another shot. Get those cards it's in not, really tight. It's not, but I'm planning on uh, setting it up again later. Okay, good. Just get those cards in really pretty. So those lipstick bottles have uh, containers have white highlights going down the side of them. 
okay? This one's going to reflect into this one. And this one's going to reflect into that one. That's okay. Don't worry about that. But, um, but yeah, let's get these things uh, lit up a little bit better, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. And thank you. Yes, is let's see where Dang's work is. Dang, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, where are you in, in this group? Uh, She's the very first. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Um, uh, I see Giannis, Giannis did a, a version where he got that white back. When, when you're doing natural light and your mm -hmm. light is the sky, you're actually yeah. losing, using a blue light, right? Because this, what this towel is doing, we don't think of towels as being reflective. Right. But they are. Every little thread in that towel, at some point, every little thread comes up to the top here and bends over. And on the top of that thread, it's going to reflect what it sees. That little bitty tiny thread. And so all these threads are reflecting blue. And so uh, one way you can fix that, of course, is to globally uh, prepare for it. On your, on your uh, camera, you have a thing called uh, where you set your color balances. It, it'll say daylight. And it'll say shade. Uh -huh. Shade is the one you would use for this. That will get you much closer. It eliminates that blue from the, the open sky. Um, your, your composition looks really good. That's fine right through here. And these, these little guys look great. But uh, yeah, the, the color thing. Now, your behind the scenes shot shows me why. And that is, this, there is not, you see all this warmth out here? Yeah. You could capture that warmth by using, instead of this little card here, using a V card that was that big, you know, really big V card sitting here. And then a, another card sitting here, leaning back a little bit. So it catches all this, this stuff here. Then a lot of this warm would reflect into this and it would maybe even offset the sky. Um, I see. Yes. And the other thing is when you're only, when you're out doing this, so uh -huh. many people think that when you're out doing natural light that you only use natural light. And believe me, if, if this was uh, my setup here, there would be probably three stands and a boom. And the boom would have a uh, uh, diffuser on it over the top. And I'd have white cards. I'd probably get a shiny card over here just to put a little kicker into the side, but it's going to end up looking almost like a, um, a studio shot with That's all the it. stuff around it. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a natural light shot, we still need to get all those little highlights. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so the, the shot is fine. The concept is good. The, the, uh, the composition is very fine. We just need to um work the lighting instead of accepting the lighting does that make sense it does okay but i do have another question because some of the words actually if you don't look very closely they look silver i found that the silver words are so hard to capture because if you have a little bit too much light will completely become invisible yeah uh, uh, the silver are the, is these uh, the this stuff right here. The blue words actually, if we have to be in the shade, turn the blue. Actually, I didn't notice there are blue words until the next day. Um, the first one I showed you actually looked to me completely silver. Yeah, and so what they're doing is they're reflecting the blue sky. Mm -hmm. And so that, and then you know what that is here, this little black area. You know what that is? Yeah. That's your camera. Oh, I see. That's your camera reflecting back in that silver. Yeah, that's very difficult to do. So when you put something over it like a scrim, then it's going uh -huh. to be clean. You're not going to have that 
you know, thing, and you get that scrim down as close as you can oh, right. to the set uh -huh. so that every angle sees that scrim. I see. Okay. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will try. Uh -huh. Very good. All right. Uh, next up is Tammy Bicknell. Good morning. Hi, Already. Tammy. Wow. Oh, they had the ding dong with them about it. That's really, really pretty. That's really pretty. Thank you. Nice, nice highlights. Nice lighting throughout. Nice, playful and playful and fun in here. Okay. Um, Here's, here's my right off the bat. What I would do is I would take that red and that lipstick and match it to that red. Okay. Because this red is overpowering the lipstick, isn't it? It's like when we look at it, we see this big red ball. We don't see that lipstick. When you bring this color here, that vibrant color right there up into this, our eyes are going to see it because it's going to be a bright red against that pure white. And it's gonna, it's, it'll stand out more. The pink that's in here, I would probably take that more orangish color down here because the pink and the red are fighting each other. Okay. Okay. So it's a red lipstick. Everything on here red, and get rid of the of the because there's blue in this. That's what's making it you know, more purpley color here. Uh, that would make it perfect. This this uh, beautiful light uh, that you have up on this little uh, cut out on the lipstick that they have, that's really pretty, really nice. Now, did you move this? Is this a motion shot or? No, that's what I was gonna ask about is that it's like a glow around the edge of the globe at the bottom. And I think what it is, is just the um, highlight from the softbox. And it almost seems like there's a little glow around the lipstick um, also. So that is a soft box and that's yes. a white card. Yes. Ah, okay. <clears throat> your, your ball, we're looking down. The ball is here. You've got your, your soft boxes back here. So at the angle of incidence, angle of reflection, right here, it's coming right back to the camera. So what we want to do is to give that far edge something to see, something dark, so it doesn't go bright. So here's your softbox. Then you take a black card and you stick it back like this. So, and then adjust it. You may have to put it in front of your softbox to get that black card to all of a sudden be seen right on the edge. When we see the black card, we'll define the shape of the softbox. The softbox is looking like a glow because we haven't defined the shape. It's wrapping all around. So we need to either bring it forward so we can see the red or put a black card back there so that the black gives us the edge because that's what we're missing is the edge of the, 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 the ball. I had put two white cards on the side and my softbox is behind the globe. Huh? Yep. Yep. So and you so think if, add in some black cards. Yeah. So soft boxes, cards. soft boxes are back here like this. Okay. Right. Camera here. Does that look about right? Well, no. My soft box is behind the globe. Oh, back here. Yes. My so basically the background is the soft box. Ah. And okay. then I have two white cards on each side right so what it, what it is is your soft box is too dang yes. big yes it's huge <laughs> yes. so you, you you have to mitigate it by sliding black cards in okay front, right like that and you'll start to see it shape okay it's, so um yeah that's what you're that's what you're going to have to do okay yeah and then just the color was the other issue. Actually, that's wrong. Hold on. You're going to have to put black cards like here. 
but okay. you still need that light to come around. Oh, okay. So they're not going to be big black cards. They're going to be small black cards, and you're going to move them, you know, move them till you can see them making the shape. That's okay. what I'm going to say. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do this one again. Yes. Do that so that you can get it and you can see how the light's working then. Yep. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Joe. Hi, Don. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? Doing good. So what are, what, what are we doing with the, is this water coming off the water shelf? Water coming over, coming over the elf on the shelf. All right. Good highlight on the, the a little part flat part of the lipstick there that looks good highlights here highlights here dark against bright nice i like so that that's well done how did you uh do this just like pour a little water pour, pour water out of a cup and behind up oh, probably about 15 times and that was the only one that came all the way across like that a lot of them are just trickles that came down between the between the lipsticks yes the hardest but hardest part about photography is controlling water out of a cup Yep. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about what we do as commercial photographers, folks, is not only do we have to make photographs, we have to come up with engineering solutions, which is literally what we're doing here half the time, engineering a solution to create a visual uh, uh, photo, you know, visual from that. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Blue tech, the blue tech. Um, lost its grip, and that was the end of taking pictures. Ah, okay. They slid off. So the what's the dome doing? That the white card that's above the camera. I dropped that down on top of the lens, and that's what light, lighting the logo on the lipstick. Otherwise, oh, this one dark. up here. Yeah, that came down right Got it. on top of the lens, and then that lit that card up. Got it. Okay. Just for the logo. Otherwise, it was shot through the top with the light through the scrim that's over the top of the set. All right. Main light is up here. The light's up higher, but it's yeah. another AD200 with no um, modifier on it. What What was your end? Uh, you got an AD200 and AD200. What was your end exposure? End, ex what do you mean by end exposure? F F8. Okay. And at what ISO? 100. Hundred were that were the the strobes weren't on full power then. Um, the one on top wasn't. The one on top was down around one thirty second. That was the main one. Okay, and was the, this one on full power? That then? one that was about half power to get enough power to light to bounce off the card and go back yeah. to the logo. Okay, that's why I think the water is a little blurry in the coming over the edge because the. I'm um, sync speed on that, flashing speed on the um, one flash was a little bit slower. I'm really um, amazed by how much power the 8200s have. I've been using and the consistency. I've stopped using my alien bees because between shots, alien bees will change colors all the time. Yep. These these things are consistent as can be. Tammy, it's are you? Go ahead. Tammy, are you seeing this? Yes, I see it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. And and then look at the at the top of it here. If you have too much coming over the top, you may have to put another card like that. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Good shots, Joe. Good shots, Tammy. Let's let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, Steve Pamp. Wow, look at that red. Wow. Morning, Doug. Good morning. Wow, that's some serious red, man. <laughs> I was going for red. That's that's fire engine red. Um, cool. You got this. Well, so this is like a black surface, and then this is backlit here. Um, actually, so the <clears throat> excuse me, it's uh the the black is a piece of dark uh, marble tile. They got right. at Home Depot, and then the the red, the little heart thing is a shiny piece of paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. And um, so the it's reflecting. There's a light on it. And then I 
put a white card over the top as a uh, as I shot. Um, okay. So it's reflecting the the light. There's a, there's a kind of a harder light that's I think hitting it more directly, but then it's also I think reflecting the the over the top. Yeah, yeah. It l actually looks like light coming through it, but it's actually light being it's reflected. bouncing oh. off. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Watch I had a hard time with this. I ended up having to do a composite, which I, I probably shot 300 shots of this trying to do it in one shot, but I never could get the lighting on the tube how I wanted it. And I'm still not super happy with it, but um, the, you know, the, the shiny round tube there when you're shooting from above was really difficult to light um, consistently. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a problem with this, this one. This looks weird to me. The little, mm. they're not, they're not clean. And I don't know what they, what that looks like now. Is that, are, the, are those, are it's, there, oh, there's square. I'm guessing oh. it's, they go facets. Yeah. I, I don't know. No, it's a round tube. And I'm, I'm guessing that that's just the reflection of the two lights that were, that were hitting it. Um, there's two. So for the shot for the tube, I, I put two white cards basically an, on a V um, on either side of it and shots, you know, basically straight down through the top of it. I didn't take a bat behind the scenes of the, of the tube shot, but if you think about having, um, you know, two white cards, the, the, it's kind of hard to explain. The lights were um, opposite at, at the, you know, the, I, I don't know how to say it, but there's two, there was two white cards that were on either side of that lipstick tube um, to try to light it up correctly. And I just never got it how I wanted it. Okay. Yeah. Um, man, that's, that's, that's really tough. Uh, you're probably going to have to light it with one card here. Mm -hmm. Pop it, right? Mm -hmm. Move the other card to where you want it, pop it, and then put that thing together. I see. I see. Put it together. Trying to do it both. This card's going to block that light. That card's going right. to block that light, and you're going to have a mess. Right, right. You have to do it one at a time um, in that, in that uh, constrained area there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then and yeah, again, was... if you got a nice white card. Like let's say that white card down here is this big, and you're uh -huh. mount, you're you're hitting it with this light. You're going to get a really nice clean edge on that tube. Gotcha. Yeah. If it's a if it's small, just the size of the tube, or just a little bit bigger than the tube, that's not enough. Okay. So maybe that was my problem. Yep. Yep. All right. Anything. And, shoot and then it. the the sticker on the bottom bothers me too. But I was afraid to take that off because I didn't want to get a uh you know nasty residue on the bottom of that tube so yeah. i don't know uh this is a, this is an art director question the art director is going to let you know whether they want to see it or they don't want to see it okay. if they don't want to see it i'd probably just take it out in photoshop go in there gotcha. lasso it put a black thing and add a little highlight and be done with it gotcha yeah because if you rip it off it's a mess yep yeah i started to and stopped because i didn't want the the mess yeah very good very Thanks, Don. Good. Yeah. Paul Furland. Hey, Paul. Is Paul here? Oh, okay. Uh, he's going to be late. Somebody remind me, don't let me leave until I do Paul's. We'll just go ahead and wait until Paul gets here. I'll, I'll see him bug in. Bob. Morning, Don. Good morning nice color nicely done great high place for your your horizon line looks good the light looks great on these things um and that's nice and playful and fun too I like the gray in here and the black in the foreground so this is a black plexi that we're working on that's right yeah nice little bounce from the white here coming on that that's cool. Overall, looks pretty good. Looks pretty darn good. Thank you. What are these things? Uh, apparently, they're uh, they're sponge. Uh, they're foams that that they uh, 
women use to smooth out their their makeup? They are, they are makeup sponges that blend okay. the makeup. Okay. So basically, you use put it's for like it's more used for liquid makeup, and basically it blends the highlighters and. So like you, you put a highlight and then you put the makeup and then that blends it in. And basically nice. you just sponge it on the face rather than uh, the difference with the sponge and the brush, the brush leaves marks. Okay. The sponge, it blends it into the skin pores. That's the idea. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. <laughs> We don't, we have no, I have no idea what you were talking about, but I can't. Well, they, 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 what happened is that when, when uh, you put uh, liquid makeup, but normally it's like, you know, the, just the one that has the highlight is just one makeup is lighter, one makeup is like a little base? darker. And then, yes. Like base? Like a base, yes. Yeah. And then they, you just sponge it and blends it, everything equally, rather than having a, a literally brush that leaves a mark in your skin is it's more gentle also for the skin back they're very popular back in the day we didn't have photoshop we depended on our makeup artists and if you've ever been at my website and looked at the back in the day uh, link i have there what you're seeing is that's how she looked i shooting i'm shooting on ectochrome we couldn't fix anything it's all left up to our makeup artists. And I'll tell you what, we had some damn good makeup artists back then. Today, I see pictures coming out and they go, okay, I had this, I had, you know, Bob, the makeup artist came and did this. Now I'm going to fix it. I'm like, fix it? What the hell's wrong with Bob? It should be flawless. And I mean, it was flawless. It's weird, different times, different times. I see faces that would never have passed muster for me. Simple light there. Um, you're using a, a hard light here. What, what's it doing? The light. That's, <clears throat> no, it's lighting up the background. Oh, this is on the background. Okay. Yeah. And this one is. It's through the scrim, through the scrim there. And. Oh, this is a scrim. Yeah. Okay. All right. I thought that was a board. All right. So that's a scrim. Cool. Yeah. Nicely done. Thank you. Nice and clean, Bob. Nice and clean. Mark Batista. Hey, Mark. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, this is this is really cool. Your little highlights here are cool. And that little subtle one there is very nice. I think. You need to get a little contrast, a little bit more contrast. Um, but it's real clean and it looks looks like an ad to me. You know, I could see type coming right across the bottom of it here like this. Um, is Did you do Photoshop for the, the uh, yes, reflection? Yes, um, the original uh, image, um, the reflection was pretty much very similar to the actual objects themselves. And uh, Yanis made a suggestion to um, kind of make the reflection lighter. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, I, I did do that in, in, in Photoshop. Right yeah, that's fine. Right. No, that's fine. You're that's using okay. black plexi, right? Yes, yes, I did. If you're using black plexi, ladies and gentlemen, you get an absolute mirror image with all the contrast and color because it's black. If you use a white plexi, you don't get nearly this much reflection. Right. So when I looked at it, I went, oh, yeah, that's photoshopped in because to get this sort of mid range here, you've got to do that. There's there's no substitute for it. Um, white plexi is going to give you about that much and it's just going to die. And black plexi is going to see you're going to see every bit yeah, of this it, thing. It, it, it. See it all the way down. Yeah. There, there's no way in camera to adjust. Uh, the black plexi. I was wondering if I use a white card. To... Nope. No, nope. the, the plexi is re, is um, like a mirror reflecting I your light source back here. Okay. So it's just going to reflect that light source where it's blocked by the product. It's going to do the product because remember mirrors are black. 
The inside of a mirror is black with glass over the top. It's not white, it's black because wow. white won't give you a reflection. So yeah, some optical illusion. Yeah, I think you need a little, I think this has to be a little bit darker, this, okay. this gray, bring it back to black, find a black in here and set that black point. Other than that, very clean. Your highlight, I mean, your logos look real good here. You're um, having that little black stripe down the side there, brilliant. That just lets us, you know, keep the thing forward from the background. Okay. Very I nice. Did, I did have to compost the the, uh, the jar on the left. I started to lose that edge. Um, so I ended up uh, taking another shot and- Yeah, that's fine. And then that's what you, know, all, what you needed is a little thin two inch wide black card over here okay. for that edge as it went around just to see that card. Okay. Yeah. Very clean, Mark. Thank you. Is there a behind the scenes, Mark? Yes, there we go. Yes, that, that's it. All right. Yep, that's all you needed. Just a little old black card, right? You know, maybe right there. Okay. Just for the edge. Look hey, at thanks that. Thanks so much. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay. Nice set. Well done set. Well done set. Andreas. Good morning, Don. How are you? Very good, Andreas. Really nice. Really nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Where did you get the step? Is that a box of like that something came out of this box? No, that's like... Um... I I used to make kind of folding cards, and I uh, this is with with a with a cutter. If you know how to cut the paper, then you can like fold it, and and that's what may come out. And I used to make such cards. Nice little skill to have. Something that <laughs> you, you want to keep playing with as you're as you're shooting. Um, Thank you. One of our photographers, Teresa St. Marie, up in uh, uh, Canada, she creates this type of, she creates boxes and things to shoot on. Um, mm -hmm. And then she is so really, she's really good in Photoshop. So once she creates the boxes, she can actually change the colors of the boxes. And uh, recently got to the point where she was building the boxes in Photoshop. So she would build the box and then she'd just save it as a, as a layer, this box. And then she could, you know, she has a whole folder full of boxes. She can bring them in and the whole bit. Really fun. Nicely done, sir. Um, I like uh, pretty much everything about it. I love the, the blue back here behind these warm colors. This is falling over. Very clever. Um, and then we can see that the uh, metallic here. Up here, we see the metallic nicely, and you got the little dark highlight to remind us that it's metallic. Highlight down the side. Well done. Cool shot. Thank you. And I'm really partial to shadows, too, by the way. As you can tell by the next assignment, if you haven't looked <laughs> forward. It's shadows, the shadow nose. Really nice. Great set, man. Great set. Yep. And that's if you're going to work with shadows, ladies and gentlemen, all that bullshit that I told you about bringing the lights in real close. Yeah, that doesn't work. Move the lights way back if you're going to play with shadows. Got to get the shadows, the lights way back. And that's the way to do it. Unfortunately, the, the studio was too small. I, I wanted to have the shadows more precise, but I couldn't get the light far enough away. So yeah, you'd have to get it at least 20 feet away to yeah. get it to be real, really sharp like that. Yep. And then when you do that, when your light's 20 feet away, your light is not only going to give you a very sharp shadow, it's also very flat. There's no oh. fall off. You're going to be the same F stop on the left as you are on the right. And you got to remember that the closer you get the light, you have more uh, inverse square law at play. And it starts to fall falling off faster. You move it back for very flat. Nicely done, Andreas. 
Thank you. Good Thank you very much. Time. Yeah. Larry Davidson. All right, uh, Larry is not here and doesn't say he's not going to be here. Um, so I don't, and this is a question that I won't get an answer to. Is this a black and white shot or is it is it a, that is the color of it? I see a little bit of blue in here. So I'm going to, I'm going to guess that it's basically this color, black, black cap and a light white grayish color here highlight looks really good coming down through here you got blacks on the sides of the bottle which is fine because you got a white background so that edge is saved looks to me like you've done it right we'll go and check somehow you're getting a little black dark edge on the side here larry nicely done nicely done real important you don't want those white edges bleeding into the white background let's see if we've got it there it is Really well done, look at that. Nicely done. Just a little bit of black right there. Transfers to that little edge right there. And the edge on here. And the edge right down there, nicely done. Good job, Larry. Well thought out, good set. Don Martin. Hi, Don. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm a bit starstruck finally speaking to you. Ah, <laughs> never meet your heroes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really, really pretty. Wow, so pretty. Now we've got some, uh, uh, what's that called? Banding. We've got some banding in the background. Did you put it in or is it just uh, Facebook messing with us? I think it's just, it's not on the, the, the uh, original it's when i've uploaded it to facebook it's just started banding yeah facebook just jpegs the hell out of it because they've got so many pictures on the server so much um such nice highlights look at that i love this that you've done here this little shadows or or something cookies in front of the light to give us these dark areas the the base of the lipsticks actually it's like it's crushed it's like a design thing that they've got oh okay um, so it was quite difficult to light the <clears throat> to get it looking right well looking right means showing that that defect right because you got it you want to show it and it, that looks very cool uh this is your set here so scrim and scrim yep. both sides and the little defects here this is actually built into the box yeah yeah got it got it really, on, really on, the, on the left hand side there it's a mirror there, i had to use a mirror as well to get some extra light bounced in there so i don't think you can quite see it in that shot okay you're down very low are you using the whole frame of your camera or just half of the frame of your camera here uh the full frame okay full frame so we're tilted up just a little bit yep yep looking up at the top here that's just really pretty don that's a that's a great shot well thank you great shot um, if you get banding, one of the ways to get rid of banding, and you don't have it on your shot, but with you, if you're using blues and reds in uh, online, you're going to probably end up dealing with banding at some point. One thing you can do is add a little bit of grain to it. Just, you know, five units of grain, and that will help clear it up. You can try uh, Gaussian blurring it. Some, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, but remember, when you're putting it on Facebook, they're taking whatever you sent them and they're crushing it like, you know, 500 times. They're making it as tiny a file as they possibly can get away with. Very, very nice. Thank you. 
You're not using a tilt shift lens either, right? You're using a 50? I think I used them, uh, it was a 100 millimeter macro. Okay, all right. That's why we're getting that, that's, that's why we're getting that more, doesn't look like you shot up with a 50 to get all these converging lines. You, you're back to 100, okay, makes sense. What I'm talking about is, see how vertical her lines are here? They're really vertical. If we cut that lens length in half and put the put this right where it is, these lines would not be vertical. They would be tilting in a little bit. And it would be more like looking up the Eiffel Tower, come in with a 35 millimeter lens, and it's very Eiffel Tower looking. We would be looking way up at it. But as it is, we're looking across at it right about there. We're looking up right about there, but we're not looking up so far that we're missing the top. With a 50, we probably wouldn't see this. We would just see the edge of it. So really well done. Very cool. Oh, I should just hit the forward button. Where am I? Where am I? All right, there. And that's this. And then we hit the forward button here and we are Mark Shaw. Hey, Mark. I don't. Hi, got your little black line back here. Nice. Top of this. This looks good. Brighten this up a little bit, Mark. Okay. Yeah, brighten that up a little bit. Nice highlights down the side. Okay. And no horizon. That was Sean on white plexi. Okay. And we've got the nice detail in the uh, in the lid there. <clears throat> this I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest something, but it's only a suggestion in that I think it might make it a little bit better because it's 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 okay. It's pretty good as it is. Okay. But okay. We have a big white one here, and we have a big white one here, and sometimes it's fun to break that this line up with a little white one coming down. Okay. And that would just okay. be adding one more little white card, you know, maybe three inches wide or five inches wide or whatever to that just to get another line down. So it's not boom, 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 triplet. Um, we wanna show that it's chrome. And the way they showed it's chrome is to give those reflections, right? Sharp edge reflections. At, at this point, well, we've got a line, we've got a line. You could read it as a white tube with a black half of it, right? That's mm -hmm. not what it is. So we add that other little highlight here, sometimes just to remind the viewer that we are looking at Chrome. So almost like a random stuck in there. Okay. Almost, almost but you're total control of it. Okay. I had fun with this shot, Don. <laughs> these, are these those, go? is this that Godox uh, six foot high uh, uh, strip light? I don't know if they're six feet high. I think they're about four or five. I have two uh, 72 inch strip lights. Okay. I classify them under the heading. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yes. But 72 inch strip boxes. The hell. They're on the cover. They're on the cover of my third book. Hey, that was that was snappy. That was a that was kind of like, you know, sliding it in there. My, you know, my third book. Um, but the third book has these two great big giant um, things. And I swear to God, I think it's the only time I've ever used them was on the shot that I did that ended up on the cover. Don, I've had these things for about two years, and that's this is the first time I've used both of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Are they are these matching? Yes. Great. That's they're they're great. If they're four feet tall, they're great. If they're six feet tall, gets a little unwieldy. Believe me. Oh it. yeah, it does. And it's the Even old fashioned are a kind. Unwieldy. It's the old fashioned kind. We have to stick the rods in, and then stick that in on them. Like squeeze them in. Oh, you mean the contortion act? Yes. Yeah, that's fun. All right, beautiful. Norm, right? Thanks, Don. Yep. Norm, how are you? Muted, Norm. All right. Hi. Hi there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just looks like Facebook or Zoom really messed up my background. What What is your background? I've got purple, pink blobs all over the place. Hmm. That's not how it looked on Facebook, though. So maybe it's just my uh, my end. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I don't see what you guys are seeing. Unfortunately, I'm seeing Facebook. So I'm saying oh, okay. it looks like a like a, a, a fire burning back. Yeah, yeah, that's OK. So you see what I what I put out there. This looks awful on the Zoom here. Yeah, but, yeah, you're right, because no matter what Facebook does, it Zoom does it again. Yeah, yeah. It crunches it way down again. So even worse out there. Um, all right. You got your good your highlights here. They're very thin highlights. I think you can get away with that on a white bottle. Um, okay, like that. Good edges. It stands out. What is it sitting on something? Uh, yeah, it's it's sitting on. Uh, I guess it's uh, slightly painted. I, I was a little surprised to get a reflection, but that's um, most of the, most of it is black. It's, well, that was the only thing there that was there to reflect. It's on actually a circular pedestal if you look at the behind the scenes okay so um but that the bottom there is just the bottom of the frame so it looks oh i see i see yeah 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 well, yeah it's blending together for me got it got it all right so it's the bottom of just the, the bottom of the frame there okay yeah it off let's look at the behind the scenes and actually it was all the way back when i took the behind the scenes i had already taken it off so but it was okay. all the way on the, on the back edge of that. Yeah, that's this little half semicircle we see here. Very good. So, so the thing about this was, see, I went I went down to the uh, dollar store and got their most expensive lipstick, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was a dollar. Um, so I don't know what the quality of the stuff is, but this lipstick, although it looks smooth and shiny, it seems to have some kind of grain or something to it. And those edges on the lipstick were kind of rough and sloppy. I, I don't, I like, it's not reflecting perfectly. There's some scatter or something coming off. Of you, there. you you did mention you paid a dollar for it. Right, right. <laughs> right. Well, I, I could have got the two for a dollar pack, but, you know, nothing's too good for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, um, in, in a really fine lipstick, really expensive stuff, it's just beautiful. What they do whatever that you know so i'm sure it's some sort of waxy ingredient that they do but the dollar store here that those could be anything from sawdust to bug parts you just you don't know <laughs> yeah i i thought maybe they threw some glitter or something in there to spark it up possibly possibly but uh, um, yes i was trying yeah. to figure out how to clean that up a little bit but i kind of ran out of time i Pulled around mm -hmm. Photoshop a bit. Now this 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 works pretty well. I I would love to have seen another highlight over here, on one of these sides. On the, especially not this side necessarily, but over here, one more little highlight like this oh. running up the side, just to remind us of that oh, okay. that shape. Yeah. But uh, yeah, good 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 use of color too. Make it really stand out like that. Yeah, the background actually was it was just a black curtain but uh, I noticed there was a little bit coming through so I added the color in, in post good this could come in closer um, so you got a Godox is over here this is doing the left light what is doing the right side is that this That's a shiny card that you're seeing the back of it on the shop okay, but the it's shiny actually... card. okay so all you needed to do really add another shiny card right back there ah, and okay. give us that yeah, yeah. Right there. there you go yeah I see that yep all right, very good. Very, Thank you. Very good, very good, very good. Murray, oh, look at that pretty design of rocks. Yeah, I struggled with this. I uh, actually tried a different lighting setup that Giannis had suggested and compositing three photos together and blending them, but I don't know if my photos didn't work or my Photoshop skills were lacking or both, but I came back to this one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're shooting with a, a 50 or a 35? Uh, I think this was at 70. At 70? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 
you know what's what's good about it that's good your logo looks good powder looks good powder on the brush looks good the rocks reflecting back in there that's really cool love that i mean what else did you this this looks to me to be well done although it might be you know it's not that exciting from a from a concept thing i think there's more you could have done with the rocks to tie these two items together you see what i'm saying yeah but i don't know what <laughs> i well, just know I think, that... I, I, I think maybe you'd have to like think of it as like maybe a pond that comes out like this around here keeping these, uh. because this is what we're selling right here but the most interesting thing on the on here is the rocks yeah most interesting thing about the, the first thing you look at on here are the little shiny rocks so i'm thinking get these guys together and then use the rocks as almost like they're in a pool of rocks when this comes in tighter to this you're going to have more cohesiveness of the two products right um and then the rocks, yeah. and the rocks can be a, a kind of a background thing a little addition addition and I would imagine that when you're done with it, you're probably going to use half the rocks. Uh -huh. Probably have too many rocks here to make your shot. So squeeze these up, put the rocks in and around them to bring them together. Okay. okay. And I would have this thing is so close here that it would be, I would have this thing actually coming a little bit behind the, this, this comes right in front of it like that. Okay. So okay. they're connected. Yep. And then use your rocks around it. And I think if you do that, you bring these together and play with your rocks, you'll see a composition happen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Lighting. Uh, light. Question for Marie. Yeah. Uh, how much of the black rocks do you have? Or the oh, I have a lot. Ones? I have a big jar. All right. Then try the darker ones. All right. Because oh. look, look at it. Your 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 subject is close to the color of your rocks so uh -huh. it's competing so if you use dark or very light rocks they would just disappear or would not compete with your subject okay okay yeah i like that idea thank you yep yep good idea thank you arnold yeah your light's great you got it right down on top. Your light's great. It's a it's a compositional challenge now, Mari. Okay. All right. Good. Judy Hernandez. Hi, John. Hi, Judy. Wow, that's very nicely done. Look at the texture in this thing. Really clean. Um, I'm going to want you to, that little dark area right there. Yeah, pull it up. Pull it up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything that, that you should or could do about that there. It's a little dark for me, but I think that's just, it's black. Um, and we see a lot of texture there. But I would say if there's a little bit of texture there, pull it up just a tiny bit without changing it, you know, to bite, to look like it's Photoshop fixed. Okay. Um, this is fine, this little light in here. I love the way your, your light is bright on both sides and just coming down a little bit darker down here. Our, our eyes don't even go down into here because we see it getting darker and it just bounces it right up to the subject. Right. Yeah. All right. It's very nice. All right. Thank you. You got the little highlight coming down the back side here. These two here. So these look like strip lights. Yes, they are. And you can see those little numbers uh, that was engraved on the bottle. So there's nothing I can do about those numbers. That little serial number on the top uh, right hand side. Yeah. Yeah. I tried taking it out. But it just messed up the highlight. So I just left it. Yeah. You know, they could have put it in the back. You think, huh? Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. There was a time when, when, uh, this is serious. There was a time when designers designed with photography in mind. Uh. And lately, all I can say is if they are, I'm not seeing the relate to where it's relating at all. So I see the, the two boxes, but I'm seeing where the, I see this little line here and this little line, where are those coming from? 
probably the backlight. I have a light in the back that's got a gel on it that's shooting on that black uh, uh, thing in the background. So probably from that, I guess, that's my, that's my guess. But you know what I did use, what you don't see is I had a big uh, foam cord that I was holding over the camera and angling it uh, upwards between the two uh, strip boxes. So that's, maybe it's that's from that. that. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. All right, good set, thank you. All right, thank you. Nicely done. Ole Serums, Derek. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Derek. How are you? Good, thanks. That's really pretty. That's a Photoshop flip, right? So, well, yes. Yeah. Okay. It's so bright and so colorful that it makes this look boring. All right. So let's pull this up a little brighter. Okay. It's like, well, right. I may not have the color you have, but I shine. I All shine. Right. Yeah. And even think about this. Think about this. See how it's going dark into the background of the back of this bottle? Yeah. What if you brought the bottle forward, put another bottle back there, gauzy and blurred it, so it was almost like this bottle was glowing against that dark area. You probably oh, have yeah. Out. So it's really set out from it. A feeling of, oh, yeah. of that it's providing its own light. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. It's on its own so, yeah. layer anyway, right? Uh, yes, I, uh, I, yeah, I shot it. I frankly did this whole thing with a single LED light. I, I was, I've been out shooting master photography, and uh, so I shot feathers from behind, lit them up, and then shot it from the front with a couple of white cards. So that's two six-second exposures. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, took the background to the left and flipped it, put it on the right to give it some. Uh, balance and and you messed with that in photoshop a bit uh what i did was uh, so it was uh like i liked it and then i used the uh uh liquid uh uh what do they call it liquid uh uh filter and uh stretch the feathers up out of the frame at the top okay uh, what else did you do besides that filter? Because it looks like a, they're very contrasty. Yeah, uh, I did a, lum a, a luminance mask to, okay. to make it. To, I right. tried to match. This. The gold wasn't coming out of the, the lid. So uh, I did a bit of a luminance mask and matched the gold and, and brought that into those feathers so they would be uh, the same. Yeah. Uh, and that that becomes, that's when all of a sudden, you know, it, the, the peacock is looking better than the pigeon. Yep. We got to make, we got to bring this up into peacock land. So I was, I was thinking like it's a Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. 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 Put that on your face and you'll uh, re really got to re pop this. Got to. All right. Pop I'll bring, the, bring the white up in the background, make it feel like there's some light behind it. Yeah. Like a, like would, would you do the light white or would, would you bring it in as a gold? I'd a play gold with it. I'd start. I'd start with white and then I would see if a gold glow would, would work. But I think a gold glow coming from this is not going to be as effective as bringing right. this, this, this has got to come up like almost a full stop because it's okay. just kind of a dully, dull gray white. Now you really need to make it shine. All right. And when you do that, you're going to, you're going to have a great shot. It's Sweet. Really pretty. Uh, great shot. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, uh, it's an old Mardi Gras mask. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's fun. You did. That's really fun. What you did. Good job. Thank you, Melvin. Hello. Hi, Melvin. How are you, man? Not bad. All right. Good highlight. Good highlight in here. Great logos looking good here. This is a silverish logo. So mm -hmm. when it's silver, it disappears into the white background. Uh, but since we can see it changing here, we know that it's silver. Our brain tells us that it's right. A uh, little design element there. And uh, that's kind of clever, the little glass shelves. Very nice. Clean that shelf up right there. Yeah, the dust is the issue. 
Yeah, right there. It's uh, yeah. I, I, I still have it set up. I think the glass is a little uh, damaged on the corner. I didn't see it when I set it up. I, I, so I, I slip it over. Yeah, I'd fix it in Photoshop. I think it'd be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fix it in Photoshop. Um, looks good. Watch out these these white letters here. Mm -hmm. Get into these letters here. Get them to come up just a little bit to meet this. This is where Vivesa can work very well by putting a small area that you're going to influence uh, and then click that button, that point right there on the M, and you should be able to bring this up just with just a tiny slide of the slider. Bring okay. just the white up in there. Okay, okay. All right, good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Now, what is this doing here? That's for the for the shadow in the background on the blue. It, dar it darkens the blue and it, it sort of right here. gives a little, uh, yeah, a little gradient. A little, a little gradient. Little All right, design. cool. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> good use of a flag, yeah. Very good. Arnold. Hi, Don. Hi, everyone. Hi, Arnold. How you doing, man? Good. So, two shots. Yes, it is. Um, I did not want to do a lipstick, so I had to try this one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this this took a while to actually get it done this way because. It's very reflective that cap. I work more on that cap than anything else because I didn't want to Photoshop anything. So I, I had to construct little things to to make it look like that. To make it look like this in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like if you see, if you look at behind the scenes, you can see how actually how I did that. Yeah, I had to wrap paper uh, around it and uh -huh. cut different little pieces of it and to cut even wider paper to highlight parts of it. So, yeah, it was quite a construction job to to just to do the, the cap properly. Well, you did a nice job with it. That's very well done. I love the little poppy light here the label looks great little things always exciting like that little highlight there very mm -hmm. cool little highlight coming in here i don't know what that is it's probably in the glass take it out yeah it is yeah that's clean through here wow that's that's really nice obviously two shots put together yes well the idea actually is the top part I wanted it to have the impression is, that's falling off. Yeah, this is one yeah. shot, right? Yes. The red yes. and the white, and then this yes. is put on. All right. All right. Yeah. Really well done, Arnold. Thanks. Really, really well done. Really nice shot. Little uh, randomness of the highlights keep us reminding that it's, it's the silver. Good shot. Thank you. Good shot all the way around. Lawrence. Is Lawrence here. Lawrence. Lawrence, this looks uh well, it's let's it even looks gonna look better, Lawrence, when I get those right red lines from Arnold's off there. Um this looks like a shot out of Vogue that I just recently saw, French Vogue, and it was for the same type of stuff this is really really cool really well done all the patina up here the patina back here uh very editorial shot and uh just really really nicely done this is not a highly produced studio shot this is kind of like over you know in that little moment there and yet it is a highly produced studio shot Just lovely, Lawrence. The light in here is gorgeous. All the way through. 
she's on a photo walk in the Schwarzwald Black, oh, the Black Forest. How fun. Nicely done, Lawrence. Very nicely done. Giannis. Hi. Hello, Don. How are you? Good. I'm surprised you chose this one over the gold leaf. Uh, yes. I wanted to do something different, you know, more challenging. Uh, more I wanted to, to show to the guys how to, to, sh to get a shot directly from, uh, from, uh, from the cam camera mm -hmm. to be white. Why should be 255? But I actually did that, yes. I have here all the shots I did. Mm -hmm. How I got to the end. I just used the white card you know, to feel. I didn't want to use a third white because I will. I would have lost that contrast I was looking for. Yep. So you've got. Um, this is essentially a bright field lighting. Yeah. The cards here. Uh, and it ends up being just gorgeous. Look at the texture here and here. Everything down through here, everything is beautifully lit up. Uh, how many different exposures were there? Let me go back and count here. Uh, for the shot itself, it, it's one, just one shot. But the second one, I could leave it there. But uh, I had those uh, shadows on the top of the lipstick they are very curved, and the light from the back cast very deep shadows on them. Yeah. That's why I use the uh, the white card to uh, uh, to reflect some uh, field light on them. And then for uh, the label on the jar, polished uh, nail polish jar, mm -hmm. and uh, for the Astra uh, label on the lipstick uh, cap. Right. This is what I, uh, that's all I used. But as a shot, I used. Uh, yeah, just the second one. That was my base shot, and then just filled in the, you know, the fill light I was using with a white card. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, really clean, really nice. Okay, thank you. Man. Love, lovely work, man. Real clean and fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing it with everybody all the techniques. That's really gracious of you. Thank you. Um, all right, this is. is this why uh... alan mason alan are you here all right alan this lipstick color is not this lipstick color and what or this red color and so it's duller we don't want it to be duller than the background we want it to be more kicky than the background so i would take maybe something from up here something very saturated from up there or maybe down in in there and change out your lipstick color so it's more vibrant fix that little dark hole there in it and then on your highlights here on your highlights let's bring those up a little bit they're just really soft we need to bring that up possibly by adding contrast to the entire scene here the contrast may be enough by itself to pop these things brighter so let's let's look at that as a possible um way to fix it but definitely we got to get that lipstick brighter okay yeah that that you're behind the scenes shows um the very flat light if you see what we're doing talking about here we got white we got white we got white cards all around it we got a white card up here that tends to make it flat um even though we're adding lines and stuff to those those um these things it's made the rock very flat let's bring a little interest back to the rock a little interest back to these with some more contrast pretty good jan hello there hi jan how are you I'm okay, thanks, Neil. Very good. Wow. I think I lost my way with this one. No, not necessarily. First of all, we got to fix that in the background. Got that. My eye went right to it. Um, 
but your highlights on this well this is a tough one this is a ribbed mm. stuff that's pretty tough a little bit of repair in photoshop just these little things there but i think you did a pretty good job we know what this we know it's gold we know it's smooth we know the black coming down the front here that's black right yes it is yeah it's not gold that's not having something reflected on it it's actually black because it it's is got black. Le letters on it so overall not bad jan a uh, little poppy here i think your composition is probably more like this than with all the white white area around it okay yeah yeah we don't need to see everything down here right. um, and I would take a knife to the edge here. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and this whole bottom area here, I would fade it back. Okay. Fade it back. So this is a little bit faded behind, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to cut it from uh, the horizon over mm -hmm. down here and then the horizon and over here and down you're going to cut it and make it darker and then add a little bit of blur to it and if you know photoshop they have a thing called depth of field blur right so yeah set it i've never so used it, that so set it so it's sharp here and as you pull it down it gets more out of focus okay because it would do that if we were looking at it the more close the closer it got to us the more out of focus it would be these are going to stay in focus because they're vertical. So we okay. it's going to look correct. And mm -hmm. then, you know, don't apply it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't like wipe out the image out of focus. Just a little bit softer. Okay. And then crop it. This looks pretty good. You got a pretty good uh, start on it for sure. Thank you. You have a, a, let's look at your behind the scenes. Is there a card to the top of this? Not over no. the top, no. That's what we needed. We need a card right back here. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Pick up some light off that background and come in and change the top of this right here. Little reflection there. See how it's getting dark on the top in here? We yeah. want to give that something bright to reflect. Okay. And when we do, we're going to get a little highlight right down the side of the lipstick, right down to about there. And that, mm -hmm. that'll be a very subtle, but it'll help define it from the background. Right. Cool. Good. Okay. Thanks. Good. Good. Yes. Uh, okay. 50 millimeter. All right. The Santa. Santa. Not here. Okay, clean highlights, but funky right in there. This looks great through here. Um, all of this, this is hard to read and I don't know why. This you're gonna have to work on maybe with a black card, just a small black card to get these things to reflect black here because we really do wanna see that. This is nice with your, I love showing how the, the light source works against a uh, like a brushed metal cap with texture and a glossy cap here. Look at that. It's the same light, same reflection, but so much different in how it presents. And nice job with your um, folded material back here. I don't see any, don't see any kinks in it. No kinks, good. And Carmen, we've looked at. Andrea. Andrea. All right. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good. we got a nice silver vibe here. You see the texture in there. And the mirror, mm -hmm. now you've got a white card over here, so that mirror is reflecting <laughs> just the card, right? A silver card, of course. A silver card? Okay. Yes. Nice little gradient across that as well. 
That's very pretty, Andrea. Great idea. Thank you. Now, the hardest thing about dealing with, with um, cloth is that. Yes. And that. And that. We got to, if you have to put rolled up piece of uh, something in there, we can't have the kinks happen. See how pretty that little rolling is there? How pretty that is? This is a problem here. We want to roll, have that nice roll there. Um, there's a joke about doing food photography that, that it takes longer to set the napkin up, the cloth napkin, than it takes to do the food. I mean, you just struggle with the napkins. Um, for about four years, I shot millinery products for um, JC, JC Penney's and Macy's when Macy's came to Phoenix, which meant towels and that type of thing. And um, what that, you know, it, it wasn't glamorous. It wasn't glamorous. Man, it was hard. It was just hard. You know, those towels have to be folded just right. And then you, they give you towels that are kind of wimpy, but you have to make them look like they're plush. So there's, you know, foam inside them and everything. And then the photograph wow. take about one minute. <laughs> this is really nicely done, Andrea. Let's look at you behind the scenes here. See what you did. Thank you. Well, you can't see everything there because, in fact, there were several shots in one. So okay, I blended them together and I moved the light around. So I would have needed several BTS to show that. That's very nice. You're using a like a grid spot on the on the material there to get these highlights. No. 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 Just to blending together and Photoshop work. A lot of Photoshop work in this one. <laughs> okay. Well, very good. It looks good. Looks very good. Thank you. It's really hard to make. <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Glad you did. Nice job on it. Miss Claire here. Thank by you. Asha. Hey, Don. Hi. Love this color up here, that deep red. I would probably highlight that, just bring that up a little more, that flat mm -hmm. spot on the lipstick. So instead of going dull, it, you just pop it a little bit. Your, okay. ver your verticals look very good in here. Very good. Uh, the only one we're missing is that one. We're yep. missing that. We've got to not let that thing roll off into the dark, just disappear back there. Yes, I missed that. Yep. Uh, I love these little boxes, by the way, these little construction things. Nicely done. Is it? It's actually a watch box. Yeah. Oh, yes. If you guys get any kind of gifts in boxes, whatever, save the boxes. If you if you have friends getting perfume and those nice, hard, crunchy, solid boxes, just save the boxes because you'd be surprised. You can wrap them in tin foil. You can wrap them in paper. You can spray paint the paper. It's the box that you want. Absolutely. And uh, you know who comes, you know, uh, uh, watches come in really strong boxes. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, your iPhones and phones come in really nice boxes that save them all and you can use them. That little highlight right there. Continue that down. Don't let it die. Okay. 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 Yeah. And then fix this corner. See how this this is nice and round yes. here. And let's fix this corner so it does the same thing there. All right. Good shot. Thank you. Good, good clean. Light. I had a question with this. Sure. So you see in the center the the center white band. Yeah. With you the, see that black the, there, which is that's, there. That's the that's the camera. Yes. How do I get that out? I know it's the camera because I I put a white. So I covered, your, if you see my BTS, you can see what I've done, but I still got the camera there. So we've got the camera. Look, we're looking at the lens, right? Yeah. You take a piece of white board and you cut it like this, the hole right there. A notch. I've done that. Take shot if A, you, that'll get rid okay. of it there. Flip it upside down, take shot B, 
that'll get rid of it down here. And then you just take one of these and Photoshop it on the other. No, I still got it. Just look at my BTS, what I've done. If it's the right one, yeah. So yeah, I've kept like the that. paper there. Yeah. Yep. So that's the best you can do. Okay. There's no magic unless you've got, what, what camera do you shoot, Asha? It's a Canon 7D. 7D? Okay, so there yeah. is there is something you can do to fix it. It's $2,750. <laughs> it's called a tilt and shift lens. Oh, okay. A tilt shift. Okay. When we get to the end, remind me. Okay, say, Don, tilt shift, okay? <laughs> okay. Ooh, Jerry. Nice, man. Wow. Hey, Don. How's it going? Very good. Yeah, nobody else did this. Nobody else did this. Well, you've frozen. What strobe are you using? 8200. Okay. Man. Actually, I did 8200 plus a, a speed light as well, so I could bring down the power on each. Yeah. Man, that is sharp. Very, very cool. Very cool. So dark field lighting? Yes, yeah. Wow. Well controlled dark field lighting and just let it rip. You actually, you, you brush the top one on the bottom one, am I correct? Yes, yeah, yeah, 47 times. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's really, really, that's very, very nice. Really subtle. Thank you. I think this is uh, beautifully done. You've got just enough texture coming right down in here, right down in here to pull it off. Beautifully done, Jerry. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Very good. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our last photograph. Hey, Don, I was a little bit late, and I think I missed mine. They're like silver brushes. I didn't see them in here, Lee. Really? I don't think <clears throat> you got into here. Oh, no. I think you put them on Facebook, but you didn't put them into here. Really? Didn't add them to the album. Um, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, and um, they must, they. Uh, I, I, I that, checked and I thought I put it in the folder, but um, I yeah. normally double check and I saw them, but I don't know. No, they're not in this maybe folder. So uh, maybe they're just in Facebook. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely stunning. And that caliber of work um, you've been doing now for the last two months. It's like you you stepped up about two months ago. And that caliber of work, that's what we need to keep you focused on, okay? That Thank is you. really, really well done. Really caught Thank my you. eye on Facebook. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, beautifully done. All I right. will make sure well, to put them on the album later. Okay. All right, I was going to tell you about... Uh, Don, you had to do polls. You had not done it earlier. What's that? You said you, you had you had not done polls. You said you would go back to it. Oh, yes, I'm here now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, polls. Oh, went right over it. Where is Paul's? Go down, right there, right in the center. Right, okay. Um, I don't want your horizon here, Paul. Okay. I want it here. I want this to be up against that dark background because that gives us height and more importance, okay? So uh, that horizon is so important to get this thing up in there. The top of it, I think it's too far away 
just bring it in here. The surface that you're using, that's beautiful. Your lighting is just about right here. We got that beautiful highlight here. This highlight here, I would extend that in Photoshop since you didn't get it in camera. I, yeah, I, I couldn't get it to do with the light, the same reflection. Right, I, we'll, we'll see what's going on with the light. And then the top of this right here, open that up a little bit. Just brighten it. Just, you know, tap, 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 brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Got it. When you're putting your things out there for composition, remember this cap came off of this. It's too oh. far away. It looks like a separate item. Okay. Yeah. So we want it to come in here, maybe even to the point of you could actually have it touching this because it is the cap. It is the unit that goes with it. Um, when you bring that height, when you bring, push this back to get this uh, horizon line right, that's going to clean this up a little bit. And let's go and find out why you couldn't get that, uh, that highlight to go all the way up. I think I know. But uh, we'll see. Okay. So you, what are you, you, do you have white cards up front? I put it in media and really not. I did, but it didn't seem to make any difference um, in camera. Yeah. So I took them away for the behind the scenes. I, 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 this image, I had no, no side cards. I have a light from the bottom, which you can't quite see in that. To light up this? No, in the gap between the two pieces of uh, marble, there's a space, one inch gap with light coming up. Okay. And that's the reflection you see on the cap, or that's why the, how the cap is lit, because it's overhanging okay. yeah. into that gap. Yeah. Um, so I kind of got stuck utilizing, trying to use that light that was coming up from the bottom. Well, and that's what this is then. Yeah, that's, so that's reason, why everything's so, on the edge there. Yeah. The reason it's not going all the way up is it's not going far enough over. Ah, so it's coming from, yeah, okay. Right, right. right. Yeah, you're, you've got your items like here on the table, but your camera is coming down from here, right? Yep. Therefore, angle of incidence, angle of reflection, what's happening on it's here? It's coming right out of that. Of, yep, yep. No matter how I turned it, I couldn't get them to match. <laughs> no, no. Uh, had you moved it to the left a little bit, you could have matched them up. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You got to get it dead center in that set. As um, it was, I had to do two different shots, one of the cover and one of the uh, the lipstick, because the black on the cover just kept showing up in that brass uh, cylinder there. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't get rid of that reflection unless I did it in two shots. So what you have to do sometimes is has ask yourself, is this the best angle of camera? The lower you bring your camera, the more this is going to disappear. These things are going to go down. And the more yeah. this, can, this thing won't reflect in here because you're changing your angle, right? Um, and a lot of, a lot of uh, lipstick is shot straight across, literally straight across. So that you can get those highlights, but um, the bottom of the the surface, we don't see any surface at all, because we're approaching You're shooting straight, shooting straight, and we're doing it with a tilt shift lens. Ah, uh. and so what we've done is we've taken the tilt shift lens, and we've got our our sensor is here, right? The sensor is in the middle of this surface but the lens is up here we've shifted it lens up so when it does its thing on the picture we have it that way there's a way of creating a faux tilt shift lens by setting your camera on vertical and lowering it down till you're looking straight across at your surface right and then your your lipstick is right there and it, that is a tilt shift lens the bottom half here don't use it ah if you're on a 35 megapixel image or a 24 megapixel image you got 12 megapixels up here that's plenty that's plenty 
So you yeah. just simply lower your camera till you're shooting literally straight across that surface and use the top half of the camera, the top half of the frame for your image and throw bottom half of the frame away. It achieves the very same thing as a tilt shift lens for approximately $2,800 less. <laughs> I'll try that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works, it works. Um, if you're doing this kind of tabletop a lot, you probably would consider a tilt shift lens an investment. Yep. It would be an investment. You would really, really enjoy it, folks. Um, not only the tilting, which everybody loves to talk about the tilting because it's focus, you can feel the focus. But I found that in the studio, I use the shift far more. So we're back to asking, we're back to that question here. Hold on. Oops. All the way down the bottom. How do we get rid of the black line? Right? So here's what we do. Asha, you still here? Yes, I am. Okay. So we take our, our lipstick and it's sitting on top of a box here. And we put our camera here so that when we take a picture of it, it's not composed right, but when we take a picture of it, we see the black here. We put a white card oh. right up here and then we shift the camera down. So if we look at the sensor, the sensor comes this way, hits this and bounce back to the white card. So you bring the white card right down to the camera shift the lens up and when uh -huh. you take the picture the, the 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 white card is now reflecting into the sensor rather than the hole okay or you can do it the same way that i just showed you you can actually uh -huh. bring it out set it here use only half of the frame for your shot and then put that white card uh -huh. right down to here and you won't see anything in there but white cards okay I'll try right. that out. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Next week, embrace the shadows. Let's see some really cool shots. Whatever your subject matter is, that's fine. Make it make it cool. But it's all about the shadow. And remember, not just a shadow, but a shadow that defines the, the subject. It's defining it's a wine bottle. I want to see a wine bottle shadow not just a dark area, but something that defines the product that you're shooting. Everybody have a great one. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you, Bye, everyone. Thanks, Bye, everyone. Thank you,